When it comes to the inflorescence and the floral properties, racemos inflorescence is typically seen here. And specifically within the racemos inflorescence, the inflorescence can be of the subtypes raceme or panic. So we're going to learn about the flowers and the floral properties of this family, that is Fabaceae. The flowers in the Fabaceae family are typically stalked, that is they're also pediculate. Now they have bracts, so you'll put the symbol BR here in the floral formula. In fact, the bracts also have bracteoles, that is smaller bracts attached to them. This in fact makes them bracteolate. Now you'll notice that both male and female organs are present in a typical flower, that is they're bisexual and they have all the four worlds, that is they're complete. In a typical flower, you will also notice bilateral symmetry. Therefore, it is zygomorphic. And so you will put this or you will represent this by this particular symbol. Now, they generally have a short cup shaped feature called as a hypanthium. That is a characteristic of this family. Moving on to the individual worlds. The outermost one, that is the sepals or the calyx. Here, the flowers have five sepals that are usually fused together. Therefore, it is gamosepalus. So you'll notice this, that you'll put the letter K here and the subscript 5 within parenthesis. But they can also be free and have a valvate or an imbricate estivation. And so you will notice that you can, have, you can have this option in the floral formula. The next world, that is the corolla, comprising the petals, once again it consists of 5 units in a characteristic papillinaceous arrangement, that is it looks like a boat. So here you'll notice in the floral diagram that there's one big petal followed by two like wings enclosing two fused petals. Now this is represented in this way in the floral formula as one plus two plus two in parenthesis. All right. So moving on to the next world that is the andresium. Here there are normally 10 stamens arranged in two separate bundles. That is they are diadelphous. One bundle contains of one stamen and the other consists of nine stamens that are fused together. So it's represented in this floral formula as one plus nine in parenthesis. The anthers have two lobes, that is they are diticus, and the filament is bent inwards towards the flower, that is it is intros. Finally, coming to the last world, that is the gynecium, only one carpel is present, therefore the letter G is, uh, the subscript one is added to the letter G, and it, therefore it is also termed as monocarpillary. Now it has an elongated curved style and which is again once again bent inwards to the flower and these are usually arranged in indeterminate inflorescence. The ovary is placed a bit high in position to the flower that is it is perigynous or superior with one locule in it that is it is unilocular and the seed is arranged in the margin of the ovary to indicate marginal placentation. In the floral formula you represent this with a un by underlining the symbol G. Fabaceae are typically entomophilous plants where pollination is done by insects and the flowers are usually showy and colourful to attract these insect pollinators, especially bees. When it comes to their fruits and seeds, most of the time these guys form legumes or pods. Now the family has seeds with or without endosperm and there is a rich content of proteins in their fruit due to the presence of rhizobium in the root that results in their food, that is the fruit that forms having this additional protein in them. Certain plants like groundnuts even have oil in their seed that finds commercial use. And that kind of leads us to their economic importance. The plants of this family are unique in that they have root nodules which contain nitrogen. The family here contains many food plants, especially pulses like grams and soybean. Now these pulses include masoor, all of your dals, that is masoor, urad, moong, etc. The pea plant, Pisum sativum, and soybean, glycine max, are also members of this family. So there are some plants here that are used for their purposes for cooking, as in, as in oils. Groundnut and soybean are prime examples here. There are also plants that give timber and fibers. Shisham, which is Dalbergia sisu, and the Indian hemp, which is Crotolaria juncta, are good examples here. There are also plants here that are used for other purposes, such as the indigo plant, which gives the indigo dye. Also, the butterfly pea is used for medicinal purposes, is a member of the Fabaceae family.